I've got somebody that I'd like to introduce you to. This is Coconut. Now, Coconut, as you can see, has eyes wide open, <laughs> looking around for other apes. No, not other stuffed animal monkeys, but we're looking for apes, capital A-P-E-S, as opposed to ants. What's the difference? I first learned about the idea of ants from John Asraf in the Neurogym program. A-N-T-S, automatic negative thoughts, as opposed to apes, automatic positive emotions. The S is a stretch, I'll grant you that. But the ants, the automatic negative thoughts, I know that's something that I've battled in my life without even really realizing I was doing it at the time. And now that I've become aware of that, I can't think of anybody that I know that doesn't have to deal with that sometimes. It's a really subtle shift and the difference between when something happens, when something changes, somebody says something to you, you get some bad news, the weather changes, it could be anything. What is your default reaction? Is it an ant, an automatic negative thought, or are you programmed to look for the good side of something, the automatic positive emotion? My experience is you get and see and experience more of what you're programmed to look for. So why do I have a stuffed animal named Coconut? Well, Coconut was a gift to me from my sweetheart Caroline and her two kids Finn and Ciara this past Christmas. And it's because we were at Walt Disney World Florida last August and one day when we were at the Animal Kingdom, the weather changed so suddenly when we were at the middle of the park that we were immediately soaked to the skin and everything got shut down. Everybody ran for cover and I was aware that some of those automatic negative thoughts were coming in. And it's an example. I know this is a first world issue. We're still on vacation, but it's not what we were hoping for. And so you start having those thoughts. Gee, I can't believe our bad luck. What are we going to do now? We're soaked and uncomfortable. It wasn't long before Caroline's son Finn said, Hey Kev, can we go over there and look at the monkeys? And I hadn't even seen what he was looking for, but he saw it. And I think because it was so hot out and the rain cooled things down, that even though we were still in the middle of a downpour, the monkeys in a nearby little island that Finn could see from where we were, had come out to play and were jumping all around and putting on a tremendous show. I don't know if he's the only one who saw it, but he's the only one who said anything, and the two of us were the only ones amongst, I don't know how many people that were all huddled for cover in the downpour, that we trudged back into the rain with our ponchos up over our heads. Nothing else had changed. The park was still shut down. We were still soaked. It was still a downpour. But the difference was, we were standing there cackling like a couple of, well, monkeys, watching the show that the monkeys were putting on. He knew enough to see the good in the situation. Funny part was, we went back a few days later and the exact same thing happened. It's that some storms and rain came into the area and they shut the whole park down right in the same area. And if you're there and you want to see the monkeys I'm talking about, they're right near where the entrance to the Maharaja Jungle Trek is, just right around the corner from the, the Cali River Rapids. Those monkeys were a really good lesson. And when we got the rain, we knew exactly what to do. And we've laughed about that ever since. And then I got coconut as a gift, which I love because I leave coconut in the living room with eyes wide open as a reminder that you see and experience what you're looking for. So what are you experiencing? Ants in the head in the house? Automatic negative thoughts? Or more apes? Well, I was going to beat my chest, but I got a microphone there. Automatic positive emotions. And use whatever you have to, <laughs> to be able to remind you. Me, I've got a stuffed animal.